Okay, new set of uh, algebra questions, five to go. So don't forget, it's really important you pause the video and you try them before I do them, and then check your answers. It's the best way to revise, it's going to stick with you all that way. Okay, so pause the video now, have a try of these questions, then watch the uh, answers. Okay, so we've got simplify this expression, so we've got our numbers of p's and q's, and we've just got to combine the same bits together. So if we're just looking at p's, 4p plus 5p is going to give us 9p. And if we look at the q's, we've got 9q subtract 3q, which gives us 6q. Straightforward enough. This time, try to confuse us a little bit. Well, we could remember that in the same way that p and q are separate, p, p squared and q, all three separate different entities. In this case, we've just got p squared and q. So let's combine those up. 5p squared, or 5 things, take away one of these things, leaves us with 4 things, or 4p squared. And 3q plus 2q gives us 5q. It's a really important trick they often play, so pay attention to that. Okay, pause the video and come back to it in a sec. Now, we're asked to multiply out, which means we need to expand these brackets. Sometimes they use the word expand. Sometimes it's multiply, sometimes it's simplify. All it means is 6 multiplied by this first expression 4x and 6 multiplied by minus 3. So 6 times 4x is 24x and 6 times minus 3, minus 18. Expand it. Now, question 4, just be aware that although you are finding the perimeter of the shape, we're just using algebra to find the perimeter. And perimeter just means around the outside. So just not the area of the shape, just the distance going around the outside. So we need to find an expression for the perimeter, which is if we could choose any point to start with, let's choose this corner. If I walk along this length, I've walked to t plus 3 units. Now I'm here. Now let's have a walk down this length. I've walked t minus 2, and the final stretch to get back where I started is plus t minus 1. So I'm adding up all the way around the outside, which is really easy. So p is equal to t plus t plus t, which is 3t. And 3 take away 2 take away 1 actually leaves us with 0, which just leaves us with the expression 3t. And final question, pause it, come back to it in a sec. So hopefully by now you'll have seen this is similar to the same question, and we've got to find the perimeter of this shape. The only difference is we've not given this length down here, which is easy, which is just 4x minus 2, and this looks like the short side over here, the width of the rectangle is just 3x, it's the same. Although we could just to make our lives a little bit easier, we could expand this answer here to give us 4x minus 8, just like we saw in one of the previous questions. 4 times x, 4 times minus 2. That might make our life easier when we come to do the perimeter. So I'm not going to go through, we're just going to start at the corner. We've got to walk along each side, adding up as we go along. Okay. So if we walk along, the first, walk along the first side to get to here, I've walked... 4x minus 8. Down here, I would have now walked, add on 3x. I would have now added on 4 brackets x minus 2, but I know the expanded form with me here, which means it's another 4x minus 8. And then the final short side is plus 2x. Oh, my apologies, plus 3x. So just adding all this up is 4x plus 3x plus 4x plus 3x gives us 4, 7, 10, 14x. And 
minus 8, take away another 8 takes us minus 16. So that's the total perimeter for this shape. Now we could have done it a slightly different way. I could have realized that I could have just doubled this number here and doubled these ones here. So I could have done it in a straight way. I could have doubled this, which would give me 8x minus 16, because I know I've got top and bottom. And then I know I could have just added on double 3x, which is 6x, which gives me the same answer, 14x minus 16. So you might have done it that way. Okay, there's lots of different other ways of doing it. It's the main two ways. Okay.